I'm Tony Beals, and I've been cooking for as long as I can remember. I've been a professional chef for over 20 years. I've worked with some of the very best in the business, at the highest level. And after cooking in the south of France for over 10 years, I returned to my Dorset roots in 2005 to start my very own award-winning catering business, Beals Gourmet. Based at our spectacular flagship venue near Sandbanks, the Italian Villa, our goal is to create some of the most sensational dishes which inject the wow factor into any event using the freshest, seasonal and local ingredients possible. And I'd like to welcome you to my world. This month I'm going to show you, with the help of my head chef Gino, how we prepare one of our summer dishes. Seared bream fillets with a mussel and cockle chowder with cream potatoes. This dish is not overly complicated and highlights some of Dorset's stunning ingredients, like the bream that was caught in the Bay of Bournemouth and the cockles that are caught and purified within one mile of our kitchen at the Italian Villa. Let's start with the fish. When you buy your fish, make sure it is as fresh as possible by checking the gills are nice and pink. Check the eyes are bulbous and the fish is firm. You can ask your fishmonger to fillet the fish for you, or you can have a go at it yourself. I prefer to do it myself so you know the fish is nice and fresh and you get to use the bones to make the fish stock. Fillet the fish so you don't waste any of the flesh. Trim the fillets, remove the bones, wash, drain, and then score the fish so when you sear the fish later, it doesn't curl up. Put the fish bones and the trimmings into a pot and cover with cold water. Add a bay leaf and some peppercorns, a sliced onion, and then boil for approximately 90 minutes. The fish and the fish stock can be prepared in advance if you like. Next, you can prepare the cream potatoes. Wash and peel the Maris Piper potatoes and simmer in salted water. Drain and then mash the potatoes however you usually like to mash them. We use a sieve so there are no lumps. Heat some butter and cream together and beat into your mash. And of course, season to taste. While your potatoes are cooking, you can prepare the vegetables for the chowder. We use carrots, onions, celery, leeks, and a clove of garlic. But it's very important you keep everything in separate piles as some veg will cook quicker than others. Start by sweating off the onion, garlic, and carrots in some butter. Then add your celery and leeks and gently cook without color until the vegetables are only just cooked through. Then stir in a small amount of flour, which will thicken the sauce. You could use corn flour or potato flour if you're making this dish gluten-free. Then add some white wine. Oat Chardonnay goes very well with this dish. And then cook off the alcohol for a few seconds before adding the reduced fish stock, followed by the double cream. Simmer gently to cook out the flour and then set aside to finish later. All we need to do now is cook the fish and assemble the dish. First, you need to heat a little rapeseed oil in a non-stick pan. Then season the fish and place skin side down in the hot oil. Whilst the fish is cooking in another hot pan, add a tiny bit of oil, onions, garlic, and your mussels and cockles. Pour on some white wine and cover quickly to steam the mussels and cockles through. After two minutes, turn your fillets over. Remove the fish from the pan when they're cooked. Then strain the cooking liquor from the mussels and cockles and add it to the chowder, along with some chopped parsley. And this is when that chowder comes alive. To assemble the dish, first place the mash in the middle of the bowl. Then spoon over the deliciously creamy chowder. Then mount the bream fillets on the mash before adding the mussels and cockles. To finish the dish, add some decoration. We use some lovely fresh pea shoots. And that's it. Easy. To see the full recipe, please visit our website.